welcome to my channel this is modesty 33 aka crystal with the c back at you with another video but if you're new to my channel you just happen to click on welcome 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 um i try to put out at least two videos a week i do sit downs reviews reactions and vlogs which today is a vlog so if any of that interests you make sure you check out my prior videos and if you see anything you like make sure you subscribe so you guys today's going to be a little bit different i want to introduce you to a little bit of daily vlogging that we're gonna be trying to do on this channel so um, and it ain't nothing real profound or interesting well hopefully you find it interesting but um, I just had in my spirit like last year was it last year yeah it was last year I was kind of like rolling over the idea of doing this today actually is Friday February 1st so, yes, it is the first day of February, so that's super exciting. Um, so, um, I just wanted in my heart, or like, you know, just last year, I was just thinking about doing a set of videos and vlogging in February, and I was going to call them vlogging time. So, a play on a Valentine. So, um, yes, this is the month of love, per se as far as Valentine's Day being this month. And um, just to kind of give you a little bit about myself, I am um, Christian, first and foremost. I love Jesus Christ and I am single. So um, I did just kind of want to put out, I guess, like, you know, the daily journey of, um, you know, a woman who is single, who's kind of walking this out, because this could be a particularly hard time of year and of, um, uh, you know, a hard month for a lot of singles out there. So, you know, especially women and all that, but um, because of like the pressure of like social media and just kind of everything that goes along with it, because we know like a lot of holidays are very commercialized and Valentine's Day is probably the most commercialized. So, um, anyways, I just kind of wanted to do like a little bit of daily vlogging and just kind of, you know, just kind of let you know, hey, still out here, everybody in the world ain't in, you know, in relationship goals, ain't around here, you know, going on date nights and all that. Well, I go on date nights, but I just go by myself. So, um, but everybody ain't out here, you know, because sometimes we think like, oh, I'm the last one. I'm the only one left. No, right here. I'm I'm here. I'm here right with you. So, um, you know, I don't know what the end of... I'm going to be vlogging until actually Valentine's Day. So, I will be vlogging. Yeah, February 14th will be, if everything goes okay, like my last actual vlog day. But just kind of want to give you an introduction as far as what to expect from vlogging time vlogs. So, essentially, I'll be vlogging little pieces of my day. I'm not going to be vlogging the whole day because... Like I work, I work a full-time and a part-time job and I do church ministry. So some of that stuff really, I don't think it would be, some of it is probably not all that interesting, you guys, and others of it, like because of the nature of my work, like I am a full-time social worker, that's my full-time. Um, and so I work with people and I can't vlog any of that stuff because of confidentiality reasons and just being respectful of people's privacy, you know, even if there was not, if I was not mandated by my professional, my profession to keep people's privacy, like that's just kind of the right thing to do. So anyway, yeah, so I'll just be vlogging little pieces of the day. I may show you a little bit around the house. Um, I am a homeowner, seven year homeowner, praise God. Um, so I might show you a little bit, um, some things around the house, like appliances and like do give you little story times, um, of my single journey and, um, yeah, just like really want to be open in the comments. Like you guys just definitely, if you have any questions or anything you want me to address, let me know. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting tired. Okay. So just have to switch hands. So, um, yeah, pretty much, yeah, if you have anything, just let me know or any questions about anything. So, um, I just want to, yeah, just, I want this to be a positive space. We'll say that. Now, I do want to start out by 
just opening up for I want like anyone who's watching this video and again if you are a single woman even if you're a single guy and you happen to click on you're watching this um, I do want to open up for um, just your dialogue just your comments um, I want to ask a question essentially now what is one thing that you don't like about being single or you don't really like about being single this time of year. So we'll say it like that. Like as far as one thing in general you don't like about being single. Or one thing you just don't like about being single this time of year. So um, and I'm, I'm saying one thing. And you guys I'm being very specific. Because I only want you to tell me one thing. And I'm not saying one thing for each. I'm saying one thing. Just pick one thing. Either one thing you don't like about being single in general or one thing you don't like about being single this time of year. And I say that because I'm trying to maintain on my channel a positive space. So I don't want to get into this whole thing where we're just like, oh, I, I hate my life. I hate this. No, I'm definitely not like that. I love my life. I love where God has me, where he's placed me, what he's given me. So, um, but I feel like we do have to be honest and transparent about what we don't like and really give those things to God. And so I just want that one thing for you because I really want to be in prayer for you this time of, you know, this time, this month, um, just in whatever you're struggling with this time of year, whatever, you know, again, that, that tends to get you down. We'll say that too. So I really would like if you could just comment below that one thing. And when I say one thing again, don't be putting down 20 different things you don't like. Because if you, t if you put down 20 things you don't like, I'm going to delete your comment. And I'm not saying that what you have put down is untrue. It probably is true. It's definitely true for you. But again, I'm trying to maintain a positive space. I only want one thing because... Again, I want to maintain a positive space. I keep saying that I want to maintain a positive space. So I don't want, because a lot of people will go through and read the comments. I don't want a whole bunch of filth or like a whole bunch of like negativity. I just want some honesty. And I want to be able to be in prayer for you guys about whatever that one thing is you don't like the most about being single or about being single this time of year. So, and then with that, no profanity, no lewdness, and because if there is that, I am going to delete your comment. So I'm just letting you know up front because, you know, again, I want to maintain, you know, that good space. So if there are 20 different things, listen, you're going to have to pick one and get other 19 to the Lord because that's what I got to do with my life. And if it's, you know, if it's nasty, if it's lewd, if it's, you know, what I perceive to be disrespectful, it's going to be deleted. I'm going to still pray for you, though, but it's going to be deleted from the public forum of the channel. So um, I keep having to switch hands, you guys. So anyway, I do want to be open for dialogue about that because, again, I want to be in prayer for you guys this time of year. It is a particularly difficult time of year for a lot of people, so I am sensitive to that. So that's one thing I wanted to do first off. Um, and then the other thing is, um, so yeah, we, we got that out the way. We're going to... Everyone is going to follow the directions who wants to, who wants to anyway, you, you know, you can watch the video, click off. You don't have to comment, but please subscribe, please come back. But, um, yeah, so yeah, everyone's going to put their one thing down. They're not going to use any profanity. They're not going to be lewd and nasty because again, like I said, people around here are struggling for real. So we want to be sensitive to that. We want to definitely not put down 30 different things about how your whole life went wrong. Listen, you're going to have to talk to God about that. He understands. So I will definitely, I'm not just, you know, getting these items just to look at them. I do want to be in prayer for you guys about them. So that's that. The other thing is, um, let me just kind of like, uh, like catalog or just, you know, just basically tell you what my day is today. Today I am working, I'm working from home. So I'm just kind of taking a brief break right now. So, um, yeah, that's not anything exciting. Again, I work with people. I work, you know, have to return some calls. So you're not going to see none of that. So, so sorry about that. This is kind of more so like an introduction into what vlogging time is going to be though. So I will again give you brief snippets, but 
you know, I, again, I'm going to be on some phone calls that are private, so you can't see any of that. So I'm just taking a brief break right now. Um, the other thing I'm doing today is I'm going to try to do some editing. I definitely want to put this video out, but I need to edit my reaction videos because if you're on my channel for reactions, I do still do reactions. I just have not put forth the time to do them. So I need to try to do that today. Let's see what else. Um, I need to prepare for my part-time job I'm working tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing that and reading up on some emails to prepare for that. Y'all, I have a really major headache right now. I have to put that out there as well. So, um, yeah, my head, my head ain't cooperating. It ain't feeling right. So uh, the other thing too, what else? I do want to do this. That was the other thing I forgot to mention. So these vlogs are going to kind of be, again, snippets of my life. Maybe I might kind of talk about some things that I've seen in the comments or address some things that I've seen on social media or what have you. Um, these next 14 days, you guys, I'm not going to be on social media. Um, switching hands again. So I'm not going to be on social media to address any of those things, but I'll probably be on like talk about some things I've seen on social media um, and like YouTube. But again, I'm not going to be actually on YouTube these next 14 days. Um, and I recommend that for you all as well. If you struggle with, you know, being single this time of year, social media is not your friend. It's really not your friend. Um, please watch this video though, but <laughs> social media is not your friend. Um, you know, when people right here going on vacations, getting engagement rings and things, honey, social media is not your friend if you struggle this time of the year. If you cool, if you good, if you like, listen, I'm straight, Lord. I don't, I don't want nobody in this season of my life. Cool, you go consume all of that if you want to. But um, I, I go to church, I'll find out anyway what, what's going on with people anyway, because they, they tell me. So I don't need to be on social media for that. I, I'm not trying to see it. So um, I have to, you have to be very mindful when you are, when you do struggle this time of year. And even if you feel like you are a strong individual, little things can happen that can really cause your emotions to go to a certain place. I will say that. So you have to be very mindful and you really have to, what the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence um, because you are, you know, you are vulnerable and you're susceptible this time of year, not necessarily to a person, but even to your own mind as far as negative thoughts, negative words being spoken over your life. And so you have to be very mindful what you're consuming. So I just choose again until after Valentine's Day to not really um, be on social media like that because I know that I'm particularly sensitive. Um, and then back to the one thing that when I mentioned before, like as far as the one thing that I don't like about being single this time of year, I'll, I'll go for me. I'll say the one thing I don't like about being single this time of year. Um, but for me, it's a general one and it happened for me just the other day. <laughs> um, like when people ask you, Oh, are you dating anybody or are you going out with somebody on Valentine's Day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a moment of silence for my frustration. Let's just have a moment of silence. Okay. So the, the moment is gone. And you know, sometimes we all need to take a moment of silence. It's not about anybody passing away or dying. But we need to die to certain attitudes. So we need to take a moment of silence. Let's take a moment of silence so you don't come out your mouth and correct. So story time. Let me give you a story time because I said we're going to do story time. So story time is um, background. I have, you know, I have a home. I have two roommates now and God bless for them. They have been such a blessing. They've been with me for a month now um, and everything came together for that to be yeah, in one week's time, I would say like that all came together for the both of them to come and essentially agree to live with me. Um, I can get into that more in another time, but essentially um, just was open to the idea of roommates. I've lived in this house again for seven years and I've been managing this house for seven years. So it wasn't a matter of I need people to come in to help me manage the house out, you know, 
God has been gracious. I've been doing the thing. So it wasn't about that. It was just about um, being more open with my home and, you know, opening up to people who, you know, I can help you, you can help me. So it was kind of one of those things. So with that, though, there was an issue where um, it was an issue, you know, as, as what happens if you're a homeowner, there are issues sometimes that happens with appliances and things in your home. So there was an issue, um, you know, call some, some lovely people to get some resolution and, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to fix my toilet. Essentially, yeah, it was an issue with the toilet. We'll just say that. I'm trying to figure out how to fix the toilet and you asking me about, oh, you going out with somebody on Valentine's Day. Listen, peoples, I don't care about that right now. I'm trying to fix my toilet. Listen, because this is a crucial situation in the house. Listen, certain things in your house are really crucial that need to be working. Listen, I, I mean, I've got multiple toilets in the house, praise God, but, you know, I need for this particular toilet to be working. So I need help to fix this particular issue. I, I, ain't, I don't care about that right now. So, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that because I got a little frustrated. I got a little frustrated, you know, but praise God the next day he gave me the wisdom to fix the toilet. I ain't had to call the plumber. So that's going to be my story time for the day. That's the story time for the day. And that's why I say that essentially I don't like when people ask me because you know what? Why don't you wait for me to tell you what I got going on? And if I don't tell you, that means I ain't got nothing going on. There ain't nothing I want you to know about. Know that about me. Know that about Crystal. Know that about Modesty33, a.k.a. Crystal with a C. If I don't tell you, that's because I don't care for you to know or it's because I don't have nothing to tell you. So, you know, put that on the calendar. Put that on the bookmark. Put that in your mind. Don't ask me no more. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. Yeah. But, you know, again... Again, it, it is what it is. That's my frustration. You tell me what your frustration is. But again, you see, I told you my frustration. I gave you a little bit of the situation and why it was a frustration because I'm trying to figure out how to do something at the time that was really important. And you asking me crazy questions that have nothing to do with what, what I'm trying to figure out. And so, I, you know, I just gave you the story. I just told you why it was a frustration, which you can do that in the comments. But I ain't use no profanity. Listen, I took a moment of silence. So take a moment of silence, articulate yourself, and put in the comments, what is your frustration? So, yeah, that was my story time, and that was the issue. So the other thing, too, is I want to feature, like, one or, like, maybe some items that I would say I recommend for Valentine's Day. So that's going to be the other thing as well. So I don't know where I put my stuff at, but hold on, you guys. I'm going to go look for it, and I'm going to show you. So years ago, I used to drink this little combo uh, for like weight loss and metabolism regulation. I think I'm going to get back to this, you guys, because like I need to trim down some, trim, slim down some. So we're going to have a healthy vlogging time. Lose weight for yourself to be healthy. So essentially what I do with this concoction, I had a little bit last night. Like I hear about people doing this like twice a day, but um, I don't think I'm about that life. Because it's not necessarily that it tastes bad, but the thing is, um, oh my gosh, let me put y'all down for a second. Okay, sorry. It's just so hard to do things with one hand. I was trying to open this bottle of water. So it's not like so much that it tastes bad. Um... When I had it last night, it's just that it definitely worked on my metabolism. Like, I was hungry after I drank this. And, um, I'm sorry, eBay is giving me updates that I don't need. But, um, it's not that I was, like, yeah, like, it, it's not that it tastes bad. That's what I was saying. It, it doesn't taste bad. It's just that... Like last night when I drank it, I was hungry and that's not what I need. I don't need to be hungry 10 o'clock at night. Like I, I was drinking it to curb my appetite and that's not what happened. So I ended up eating when I didn't need to be eaten. So this is why I need to trim down. <laughs> it wasn't nothing bad. I had like tuna and crackers and 
And I did have some coconut rolls, organic co coconut rolls. Either way, I didn't need to be eating at that time of night. So, yeah, I just really, like, kind of fill up a few capfuls of this um, right here with apple cider vinegar. And then just squirt, like, a few pumps of, like, um, lemon juice in there. Warm it up on, like, 30 seconds. And voila. I just drink that, but I definitely got hungry when I drank it. I think it's supposed to curb appetite. Maybe I ain't put enough apple cider vinegar in there, but I was hungry. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and get back to you. Okay, here's my finished concoction. Put my little straw in here because what I wasn't doing years ago when I was drinking this that um, I find out now that you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to actually drink it from the cup. You're supposed to sip it through a straw because um, apple cider vinegar can apparently weaken the enamel on your teeth and you don't want that because um, you don't want to be walking around here with no teeth and single because that, that's bad. So <laughs> um, you want all your teeth, you know, as you walk around as a single person. So... At least, cause at least you can eat. At least, you know, at least you should be able to do is eat. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to be, like, sipping this through a straw. Let me see how it tastes if it might need something else. Hold on. Yep, it tastes about right. So, yeah, I'm going to drink that. And I'm probably going to go ahead and make something to eat for lunch. Thinking I'm going to do my tried and true. I don't have, like, a an expansive amount of culinary skills y'all um but you know i can do a little something something the other thing i wanted to kind of look at and talk to y'all about is this kombucha because maybe y'all don't know this but um i actually get this kombucha um it is like kombucha is essentially good for probiotics it's good for your gut what they say like you know digestion all of that so i usually get the kavita master brew kombucha i really like this new flavor this is lavender melon um but when I actually just kind of start doing a little bit more research on kombucha and the benefits and, you know, like, is it actually all that good for you? And I found out that these bottles right here, which if you read a label, you would know this, but I don't actually, unfortunately, make it a habit of doing a lot of reading on labels. So that's my ignorance. I need to do better at that. But um, so this is 16 ounces and it's actually two servings of kombucha. So it's 35 calories per serving. So altogether, this bottle is 70 calories of yeah, 70 calories, which to me isn't bad, especially as a substitute for like, say, a carbonated soda or a Coca-Cola or a cherry Coke, something like that. Whereas that's going to be like 240 calories, you know, empty calories at that. It's not really going to fill you up for very long. Kombucha, on the other hand, is 70. So less than half of what it would be for like a soda. Um, but the thing is with kombucha, you're actually only supposed to have like eight to 12 ounces a day. And again, this is 16 ounces. So I was typically like drinking this whole bottle a day. And when you drink the whole bottle, um, and you know, that's, that's too much. That's too many servings. And then on top of that, um, if you know anything in mod in moderation, things are not bad, but if you drink too much or do too much of mostly anything, then, you know, you can run into problems. So like, if you drink too much kombucha, like essentially it can, you know, make you fat, essentially, like it can add weight to your midsection. It's good for digestion, but if you drink too much, you can actually, you know, get bloated or get bigger from drinking too much. So that might be some of my issue, actually. So I'm going to really try to adhere to the recommendations and just really drink half of this bottle a day. So I did just drink a little more than half yesterday. I'm going to drink the rest today and we'll see. Um, I'm going to start doing that. And then these joints is expensive too. Um, on Ibotta, which is another cashback app that I do use, you can get some cashback sometimes on these kombuchas. Um, I'll put my referral link. I don't know if I have a referral link for Ibotta. I think I do. I'll put my referral link in this video, though, if y'all interested in signing up. It's another cashback app, but it's like for groceries. So that one is, you know, better and more practical for a lot of people if you don't online shop. But everybody at some point has to go buy groceries unless you just eat out every single day, which that's definitely not healthy for you. So anyway, um, they do have cashback sometimes on these so, but they're overall expensive. Like they're typically at Publix, like $2.99 a bottle 
um, or sometimes you can get two for five dollars. Other brands will have deals on them sometimes, and then they also have cash back through Ibotta. So just make sure you check that out, but make sure you're adhering to the recommendation. So again, you don't, you know, get unnecessary weight on your midsection, um, or any other section for that matter. So anyway, that's going to be pretty much that. Um, I think I'm going to whip up something to eat for lunch after I drink this right here and we'll see. All right, you guys, just wanna give you that, you know, healthy fact for the day. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. So I'm doing this. That's the other thing I wanted to say that I'm semi doing this Jerusha Couture style. If you watch any of Jerusha Couture's videos, she is a luxury um, vlogger. So she has an awesome collection of luxury items, but I did want to kind of feature like one item of the day or something that I would recommend for Valentine's day, or that has definitely like been a blessing in my life since I purchased it. So the first thing I want to talk about are these lipsticks right here and they are lipsticks. They are Christian Louboutin lipsticks and they are luxury lipsticks and they are definitely have a luxury price tag. They are expensive. You guys, so, um, but I absolutely love them. I own four of them. So this one right here, this is the packaging, which is very gorgeous, very grand. It says Louboutin. Uh, we know Christian Louboutin for the red bottom shoes. If you didn't know that, yes, Christian Louboutin does the red bottom shoes. I don't own any red bottom shoes. I hear they're very uncomfortable. So they probably are shoes I would not own. Um, so with that being said, I do love the lipsticks though. This is like a brown color right here. This one is called Zulu. Um, the number on this one, I'm trying to get a little bit closer. Let's see. Here we go. It's 715M is the number. Um, I did get these lipsticks from Sephora.com. A lot of times they're sold out, you guys, but um, I definitely would recommend going to Sephora and seeing because Sephora is a part of Ebates, which if you don't know about Ebates, I talk about Ebates like periodically, but essentially Ebates is good um, for getting cash back on items that you're going to buy anyway. So these Christian Louboutin lipsticks are kind of one of them. I feel like they're going to be a staple in my collection for lipsticks. Oh, okay. There's Zulu going off somewhere. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. So I feel like anyway that these lipsticks are going to be staple items in my collection. So um, Ebates is good to get cash back on them, but Sephora is good as well because we know Sephora does have sales during, um, during certain times of the year. So therefore, you don't have to pay the hefty price tag on these lipsticks. Now, these lipsticks do retail for $90 a piece. Yes, $90. They are luxury lipsticks. They are $90 a piece. Um... I love them though. They are my favorite formula of lipstick, favorite ones I've used thus far. Um, this color here probably now is my favorite. This is So Tango and this is number, wait, I think I showed a little bit. Uh -huh. If you can see that 315M is the number. So um, this one actually is probably my favorite. It's probably the most used lipstick um, in the past month or so. I would say like for special occasions, for just going out. Um, so Tango's pretty much my lipstick. So I definitely will be repurchasing this one when it does go out. So um, yeah, I love So Tango is my absolute favorite right now. I'm trying to like push it down. Hold on, you guys. Right. I need to push this down so we can. Listen, we're not trying to waste nothing. $90 a piece. Okay, here we go. I was trying to push it down, but it wasn't quite working. I'm trying to do this with one hand. But um, yeah, so Tango is my favorite. It's a bright pink color. Um, so and yeah, I have four of them again. So Tango is the favorite. Let me see which one this one is. This is my second favorite right now. It was my first because this is actually my second tube of this lipstick. This is number um, 215M. I don't know if y'all can see that. But this is Rococo. It is kind of like a nudie color um, on my lips anyway. And you kind of see what my complexion is, you guys. 
So um, this definitely is like was my my absolute favorite and it's probably my second favorite at this time. Like this is my again my second tube of lipstick, but I've just been kind of going through a phase with um, So Tango. So I really, really, really love that particular lipstick. That is definitely my favorite, but Rococo is my second favorite. And in 2018, this is the only lipstick I completely went through. So yes, absolutely love that one. Right now, this one right here is probably my least favorite, but I still love the color. This is number, hold on, what number is it? I can't see, you guys. Okay, let me pull the camera down a little bit so we can. Yeah, it's just that reflection. But um, this is 705M. I had to look at it myself because I can't hardly see y'all. This is 705M, and this is the color Just Nothing. It is like a nude color. Um, I probably should swatch these for y'all in the light, but I have different videos where I've swatched them before, but, um, yeah, so I'm not wearing any of these today. Actually, I'm actually the lipstick I was wearing before is a Charlotte Tilbury color bond girl is the color I was actually wearing in the other portion, but, um, I did want to show you guys these lipsticks. They do again, retail for $90 a piece. So yeah, with four, you just add it up. But I didn't pay $90 for any of these ones, actually. Um, I got them from Sephora. I got them either during a VIB sale or when I got like a notification about like a Rouge sale, which was like $25 off a single item or um, $25 off your order. So that's when I got some of these during sale. So I definitely recommend that um, if you are a VIB or a Rouge member through Sephora, um, I would recommend waiting for that time of year when there is that sale to get these lipsticks So you're not paying the hefty retail price, especially if you just want to try them out You're not certain they are definitely my favorite lipsticks. I have no desire for any other lipsticks I've given away a lot of, a lot of my lipsticks because you know, these are just my four These are just the ones that I absolutely love with again So tango being my favorite roca coat being my second zulu being the third and just nothing being the fourth so yes, those are my featurettes for the day. And yes, okay. So with that, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm not, again, today's Friday, February 1st. I just kind of wanted to introduce the whole vlogging time idea to you guys and ask you that particular question. So again, if you don't remember the question, I am gonna put it in the comment um, or in the um, description box below. So if you don't remember what I said, you'll be able to see it. So make sure you guys comment because I do want to be in prayer for you this time of year, um, which can, again, be particularly difficult for singles and for single women. Um, but yeah, so anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here because my break is over. I need to get back to work. And that's all I'm going to be doing for today and then trying to edit, get some reactions out to you guys and get some videos um, situated. So um again guys i really appreciate you watching if you watch thus far if you have any questions make sure you put them in the comment box below make sure you put your comment in the comment box below as well about you know what you don't like about being single this time of year or what you don't like about being single in general remember no profanity no lewdness no nasty just you know hey you know take that moment of silence figure it out and put it down you know in the comment box so again, you guys, I hope you will enjoy vlogging time. You will enjoy my story times and you will just generally, you know, just be blessed. So again, you guys, I really appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.